Hello everyone, my name is Desmond. In today's episode, I will share with you step-by-step -step guide on how to set up edge blending. Edge blending technology is getting quite common nowadays. This is especially so when customers will want an ultra-wide screen for a more immersive display experience to tell their stories more interestingly. Edge blending allows a larger projection without any constraints by size or aspect. Addressing these market requirements, our high brightness projectors come built in with these amazing functions. Here are some key important things to take note before performing edge blending. First, ensure that all projectors are having the same resolution. Do note that your content resolution should be the total resolution for all the projectors minus the overlapping parts, which usually varies at 15 to 35% depending on the resolution of the projector and the content. Lastly, please make sure that you have the necessary equipment such as PC with multiple output video card that supports edge blending function. If any of the above are not met, the edge blending will not be able to complete. Before we begin, you will need to prepare the following cables and equipment. One, LAN cables 2. HDMI cables 3. A router and lastly, will be your PC with a multiple output video card that supports edge blending. Firstly, connect the LAN cables into the LAN port found at the rear of the projector. After which, connect the other end of the cable to your router or network switch. Next, Connect the HDMI cables from the projector to the HDMI part of the PC using the multiple output video card. If the video card port is not HDMI, you will need to use a HDMI converter. Please check on your network status to ensure all projectors are linked up on the same network. Do note that the following simulation is based on a tabletop projection. After turning on the projectors, place the projectors beside each other. After which, adjust the lens, focus, zoom and lens shift to match the size and position of the projector. Step 2. Turn the edge blending function on in the projector menu. Go to Menu, Extended, Multi-Projection, Edge Blending. After turning edge blending on, Enable the edge blending overlap. Select left, right, top or bottom edge depending on the position of your projector and set the blend range. Upon doing so, guidelines will automatically appear on the screen. If the guidelines do not match after setting the blend range, you can still use the optical lens shift to match it. You can choose the colour of the guidelines to avoid confusing yourself. Once you are done and confident of a rectangular image, you can turn off the guideline and match the two images in the overlapping part using point correction function. The point correction function is useful when you want to make minor digital adjustments to the image. This will easily help you to match the two images in the overlapping part to achieve a seamless paranormal image. Once you have finished your image adjustments, you are now ready to move on to do settings on the video card. Before we start, do note that any adjustments will need to be made on the video card software and not the Windows display settings. Each blending settings will vary from the different brand and the model of the video cards. Here are some common terms used in video card settings to refer for each blending. One, Edge Blending Overlap Settings 2. Mosaic Settings and 3. Edge Overlap Now, we shall start. First, we open the Matrox Video Card software. Click on Multi Display Setup. Check if you can detect all the projectors connected. Select the correct projector resolution and refresh rates. Click on Use Stretch Mode. Select if you will be doing a horizontal or vertical edge blending or square. Next, go to Edge Overlap and Bezel Management Settings. Click on Modify. Select Edge Overlap 
and input the overlapping pixels. The overlapping pixels will depend on the total resolution of the screen. Our product specialist will usually recommend a 25% overlap. However, if you are using an existing wall, an overlap of 15 to 35% range can be used. If you are performing a horizontal edge blending, you can total up the horizontal pixel, count less the percentage of overlap. Once you're done, click on OK and you're ready to flaunt your contents using the edge blending screen. We understand that for fixed installations such as museum and digital signage applications, maintaining colour consistency and spending lesser time to set up those edge blending projectors are important. Using certain models from the EBL 1000 series, these functions can be easily performed using the inbuilt cameras at the front of the projector. Adjustments can be done via network connectivity of up to 9 projectors in a single group. Now, let us show you how this setup is done. After connecting the projectors on the same network as mentioned earlier, we will need to identify the master projector among the group. If your projectors are not of equal brightness, please note that the lowest brightness projector should always be the master. This is to ensure brightness consistency when performing the edge blending function. From the projector menu, select multi-projection from the extended. And then, press the enter button. Select projector grouping, then select the projectors that will be used for tiling. Select set and press the enter button. You can select up to a maximum of 8 as the ninth unit will be your master projector. Select tiling and then press the enter button. You can choose between auto or manual mode. If you have selected on manual option, click on layout and then press the enter button. Set the number of projectors in row and column. Select set and then press the enter button. You can manually set the position of the projected images in row order or column order. This effectively tells the projector where their current position is. Press enter to complete the position. Once ready, you can go to Extended, under Screen Matching, Start Auto Adjustments. The camera will then detect images being projected, adjust, even out, colour imbalance and produce a seamless image. This function works best when the projector is being turned on after 20 minutes. Please ensure consistent ambient light during the calibration process and the larger screen size that this can support will be from 80 to 300 inch per projector depending on the model. You can refer to the user guide for more details. After the projectors have been installed, the color calibration functions can be scheduled to ensure color consistency throughout. Apart from color calibration, you can also schedule turning the projector power on off and switching the input source as events in the schedule. Registered projectors are executed automatically at the specific time on a specific date or weekly. You can register up to 30 events in schedule and one event in extended schedule. First, go to menu, extended, schedule settings, select add new from schedule. Set the schedule based on your operation requirement. After that, set the date or time settings as desired. Once you're done, select Save and then press the Enter button to register. You can set multiple schedules as well by repeating the steps mentioned earlier. Select Setup Complete and then select Yes to finish saving it. Setting up a projector is not necessarily difficult. By using the automated functions in our projectors as shared earlier, can help you to save on maintenance and labor costs. We have now come to the end of this episode and I certainly hope that you have learned something new today. Thank you.